Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel, and today I'll be reading Multi-Character Listener by me. So let's get into it. Lenny? Now Lenny doesn't have to do a lot to fluster you. He already has that charm about him, and the way he can make your heart flutter by doing the absolute least. Well, maybe not the least for you, but for him, it's very easy to do. All it takes is just a flower, and some sweet words from his lips. And suddenly, your head over heels for him for the entire day. Oh, it seems like the moon has disappeared. Never mind, it's right in front of me. Oh, you sap. Come on, Lenny, stop being like that. You say, blushing greatly, but he just giggles softly. Pressing a soft kiss to your cheek and putting an arm around your waist. He just loves flustering you. And even more than that, he loves making you laugh and making you happy. So, of course, he's not going to stop doing this anytime soon. Especially if all of your reactions are so adorable. It only gives him more of an incentive. And it's totally not his fault. That he keeps making this happen. You are the one to blame. Tonari. Tonari can be so adorable. And so utterly sweet with you. He's always had that way of just being able to make you happy. While doing the least important of things. As in, not that he's doing something silly or something. But it could be something totally insequential. And yet, and yet it would make you smile for the rest of the day. Like right now, he was just cooking for you. And he didn't have to put so much attention into it. But he did. Making you your favorite food. And cutting up your food so it looks like a teddy bear. Or sometimes a heart. And then look at him. Welling up. Tonari. You, you didn't have to do all of this. But I do. Look at how happy you are, dear. Or not. Why are you crying? He says. An amused little to his voice. And he kneels down beside you. Kissing your cheek. As you tell him that you're just not used to this. That you weren't used to this gentle treatment. But... And make it this goal from now on, for this to be the least of what you get used to, because he's got so, so much more to offer. Scaramouche. Now, Scaramouche is so sweet with you, so of course, it does not take much from him, for him to make your heart flutter, and to make you happy. And today, especially today of all days, barely to gazing at all. All he really had to do was sit by your side and talk to you like he always did. The two of you would always cuddle when you were free and when he seemed like he needed it. And today, it just so happened that both opportunities arose. He needed to be held and the two of you were free. So it was perfect for some cuddling time. And that's when he began talking, and he tells you what he feels. Lion, I want to thank you. What for? Many things, Lion. Many things. For giving me a chance. For being the reason that I'm so happy today. And for making me feel like, for making me feel like they have a purpose. And that there is someone who is out there who loves me and wants me to keep going, to keep living. And that's you. And I promise, I'll do my best to always be deserving of that. And isn't he just the sweetest, dedicating all he has to you? And you hope you can offer him something like that. It's the least he deserves in love. Albedo. Albedo can be very romantic, and it's really sweet 
because sometimes he comes from work, all busy and having been doing things all day, and yet he will always remember you and remember to bring something back for you. And that's why when he comes back, he's bringing you a little souvenir. Maybe something that was interesting, that he thought that you would like. Or if he has nothing to bring back, then it's going to be chocolates. Or just some roses. And of course, as soon as he goes to your home, he presses the softest and sweetest of kisses to your forehead. I've missed you already, my flower. Oh, Albedo, it hasn't even been that long. But I'll accept that, since you seem so sincere about what you're saying. My mom was sincere. You need to stop doubting me. And he's quite right. He is sincere. And you need to stop doubting him because he's just the sweetest. And he truly loves you so much. And maybe he shows it a lot. To the point where it feels like it's too much. But it's only what he's feeling. And it's all true in the end. Venti. Oh, Venti is such a poet. And he has such a way with words. That he's always able to make your heart melt. And whenever he's feeling those intense emotions of love. He's always showing them. And that's why. While you're just sitting there, breathing back, he had stopped you, grabbing it from your hand gently, and sitting it aside. My aunt, my darling, please listen to me, as I'm about to tell you about my feelings for you today. And he tells you a poem. Sometimes he even sings you a song. One that he has written specifically for you. And one time, you do end up crying. And he has to hold you in his arms, laughing softly at just how sweet you are. And how your heart, too, sings for him in its own ways. Maybe you were not a singer yourself. Maybe you did not write songs in the name of your love. But that's fine. He will do it enough for the both of you. Isn't that just perfect? You were a pair, and you totally complimented one another. Or at least, so you like to think. 